Viola Davis and Julius Tennant's residence in Los Angeles' Toluca Lake neighborhood has a European-style exterior decorated with lush greenery, and an archway of fiddle-leaf fig trees stands at the entrance. The 7,545-square-foot estate, which the Hollywood couple purchased in 2016 for an estimated $5.7 million, recently underwent renovation. The couple first connected more than 20 years ago, while working on the set of the CBS series City of Angels. The Davis-led action drama The Woman King, which was being filmed at the same time and was produced by the married couple's business UV Productions, is what the Oscar-winning actor claims inspired them to remodel their house. I always try to be big and bold, but not garish or too bold, Davis stated in the February cover story of Architectural Digest, AD. We were working in South Africa, and the incredible color and culture there inspired us. Before hiring former set designer Michaela Cadiz to oversee the new interiors, Davis and Tenen had lived in the large five-bedroom house with their daughter Genesis for about five years. The interiors needed some vibrancy to liven up the monochromatic tones. Emma Chamberlain describes her eclectic new residence in Los Angeles. The designer explained to A.D., Viola and Julius have such vibrant personalities, but their house was very minimal 50 shades of grey. They requested something simple and unpretentious, something cozy, and a spot to unwind and replenish their energy. However, they also desired something unique, a feast for the mind and the soul. Finding the ideal combination was crucial. That resulted in sophisticated contrasts of dark wood and soft neutrals, complemented by graphic textiles and wallpaper, including dragonflies on the ceiling of their main dressing room, stormy clouds on the walls of their living room, offset by a bright blue couch, and hand-screened wall coverings, with Andy Warhol's Polaroids of Muhammad Ali in their home gym. One wall in Genesis's room is covered in black and white animal print wallpaper, while the other has plenty of space for pop culture posters, such as those for Stranger Things and The Umbrella Academy. Ellen Pompeo welcomes guests into her Malibu vacation home. Different rooms are decorated with soft yellows, pinks, and greens, and artwork and antique serve as centerpieces and conversation starters. A sculpture of an Agoji warrior, a member of the 17th century all-female African military regiment that served as the inspiration for the woman king, that the couple purchased in Cape Town, is on display in the foyer. They value having pieces that add context to a space, according to Tenen, who once specialized in English antiques in a Santa Monica furniture showroom, as reported by A.D. It's beneficial to have antique furniture and other items with historical significance, he said. They adore their custom cherry dining room table for dinner guests and large marble kitchen island, which they claim they cook for 50 people for Thanksgiving. They also adore their oversized bathtub where they can unwind together. Davis described their nightly ritual as we talk, we laugh hysterically, and we reconnect. This is definitely a sanctuary, and that's what home is to us.